Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we'll be taking a look at the Play School Star Wars Galactic Heroes Echo Base Encounter. Uh, this is one of the little play sets that's come out. Um, has the standard kind of open packaging here so you can kind of get a look at everything here and touch a lot of the stuff. You can see that it comes with a Luke Skywalker and his Hoth gear with his lightsaber. And then if you turn this little dial right here, it has a little wampa that pops out, which I think is pretty adorable. I like that little feature a lot. Uh, yeah, but like I said, standard open packaging. Come around to the back. It says, across the frozen wastes of Hoth, Luke Skywalker encounters the Wampa Snow Beast. Will he escape in time? And then it says the same thing in several other languages. <laughs> uh, works with Endor Adventure playset, not included. So they do have the ability to connect, as it shows there on the back. And you can move the little launcher around to various spots on the playset. They all have these kind of connection ports, so that's kind of what makes it connect to the uh, Endor Adventure as well. So not too much going on on the bottom. The rest of the packaging is pretty uneventful. So let's go ahead. We'll get this out of here and we'll take a closer look. So here is everything that comes in the packaging. Uh, real quick, we'll take a look at the Luke Skywalker. This is easily my favorite part of the set. I just think that for some reason I've always liked their Hoth gear. I don't know why. Uh, whenever they make figures of like Han and Luke in their Hoth gear, I always pick them up, but... I don't know, this is really cool. I like this a lot. Uh, standard play school uh, articulation. The head can go from side to side. You have the up and down from the shoulders as well as spinning all around. Can sit like that. And then of course he has his blue lightsaber here and then the wrists can rotate as well. So pretty much all the same uh, articulation that like an Imagine X figure would have. I've always said the play school Figures are pretty much on par with Imagine X. They're a little bit shorter. Um, but some of the newer ones have the back open so that you can take the whole bar. Like there's a bar across and the whole set of arms can come out. I don't like those as much. I understand that, you know, because they'll like mold giant blasters and things into their hands. And they want to be able to take them out and switch them out, which I get. But at the same time, I'd rather it just be that you could just have him hold the weapons. And just make a gun or something that he can hold instead of molding it in. And making it so I have to take the arms out. So I always appreciate one where it's solid on the back. So this is a really cool figure. I like this a lot. Very, very cool. Going to put him off to the side for a moment. So we can take a look at the rest of this here. Um, this is one of those little satellite dish uh, style guns that they have on Hoth. Comes with the giant red missile. Which you just pop in. I kind of thought this was where it was going to fire from. But it actually goes in this way. And then there's just a button up top. Which you just press. And it fires, fires very well. Very nice. And then this can swivel like this. So basically how these work, you can see all of these pieces have um, these weird kind of connection ports here. Like this. And the launcher has the same kind of port, so you just slide it on. And then that's just how they connect. It seems like it should be a lot more solid, but it's not. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but that's how you can connect it on. So in that case, you can put the gun wherever you want. And you don't have to. Honestly, you don't have to connect it. You could just sit it wherever you like. But if you want, it does have the capability of connecting on. Um, with this piece, this is like an extra base piece. You can connect this to the main section, again, however you want. I think... Uh, the directions kind of show maybe like this. You just slide it on and it kind of connects. I kind of like taking it and connecting it over here. Like that. Because this piece here can actually swivel around. And then I kind of feel like this is the full Wampa layer in this area. So basically how this piece works here, you can see it has two footholds, and this is supposed to recreate the scene in the movie where Luke is hanging upside down for the Wampa to come get him. So that's why I like to put, I like to swivel it out. Now again, you could leave it here, that's perfectly fine, but I like to kind of swivel it out and then have this piece underneath it and it kind of creates like a whole 
Wampa's lair for me. I don't know. Like I said, you can take this piece off and move it wherever you want. And if you want to connect the gun here, you can. Like I said, if you don't want to connect it, you just kind of want to sit it around. To me, this is something that Echo Base has, and this is definitely the Wampa's lair. And I feel like these two things didn't really interact in the movie. I feel like they thought, hey, maybe this isn't enough throw this featured launching gun in to just beef up the set so it has a little bit more as far as playability um and that's fine i like the little gun it's just you know this is called echo base encounter this is the wampa's layer like this is not echo base this is just <laughs> an area on hoth that luke ran into uh while he was on patrol so i don't know it's not really echo base but this piece would belong at echo base so Maybe that's why they went with the name, or maybe they just wanted the alliteration. Couldn't tell you. But, still think it's a cool little feature. The gun fires, which is nice. And you can just kind of put it, you can put it up top here if you wanted. You could do all kinds of crazy stuff. So, I'm just going to put it off to the side for now. Um, my next favorite feature here is when you turn this. Uh, the Wampa pops his head out. And I love the design of the Wampa. I'm going to get Luke out of the way here just to get a little bit closer. Which is a really cool design. It's a very adorable little Wampa. I think they did eventually make Wampas that were posable figures in, in other sets and things. But no real Wampa comes with this set. But I, it's just a, it's kind of a neat way of doing it. Because it's like, you know, he's hiding. And then when he's about to attack Luke, he's just, rah, here I am. <laughs> and I just think it, the design and everything is really cool. I like that a lot. This little part over here also opens up. So you can put that down. Um... I don't know if what this really, what purpose this serves. I guess the, the figure can go through it. If you want to pretend like that's the way out. Um, you can pretend that's the exit of the cave, I guess. Like that's the mouth of the cave and he could get out that way. Um, or if you have the Wampa back, you can see him poking around that side. So maybe it's just two different ways for him to be spying on Luke. But then that does close up. If you come around to the other side, there's not much going on back here. It's just the Wampa hiding. And then again, just open. And again, you can move the top piece here if you want to move that back. Uh, the other thing you can do, it does have, like, you could put the figure up here. He could stand up there, and I'll try to move this up. There's a couple of pegs up here. And it even has, like, little boot prints in the snow. So there's a peg here, there's a peg here, there's a peg here. So you could put figures up here. They do have peg holes on their feet. So you could... Peg these figures in. It's a little difficult to do, but there you go. You could have them stand up there. You could have them stand up here. You could have them stand in this little... See, if this piece, this feels a little loose. I think it's just the way it's screwed in. But So there are a couple places you can peg in figures up there. But I think the bulk of the playset is, is down here. Fighting the Wampa. When he does emerge from the cave. <laughs> and it's kind of neat. There's, I mean, don't get me wrong. There's not a ton to this playset. There's really not. But I think it's tiny. And I think it's it's adorable. I think kids will enjoy it. And I think originally this was somewhere in the area of $12 to $13, I believe. Uh, I found it at Ross, which is kind of like a discount store. They kind of, they get inventory from other stores when they purge their inventory. Then So they get it cheap. They sell it cheaper. So I got this for six bucks. For six bucks, I totally think this is worth it. If you can find this at like one of those kind of stores uh, or somewhere just it's on sale or there's a deal or something like that. I totally think this is worth six bucks. I mean, the figure alone is, is worth three. Usually these figures run anywhere from like three to four dollars depending on the sets they come in. So I love the figure. Absolutely. I think the little Wampa is cool. I think he's done very well. Um, for not being an actual figure, just kind of a additional play feature. Uh, I still think he looks really cool. And I mean, even though this doesn't really make sense for the set, it's still a decent little uh, missile firing, uh, you know, gun here. So I, I don't mind this. Like I said, it doesn't really fit the set, but it's still fun and kids can have fun with it. I mean, I guess they could try to have Luke shoot it at the Wampa. Ooh! He's, he's scared. He's going back in. He got hurt. <laughs> so, yeah, I definitely think it's fun. I think it's, again, it doesn't really fit, but it's fine. And you can connect it. You cannot connect it however you would like to integrate that into the set. 
And I guess the nice thing about these sets is the more you buy, the more you can connect. So, you know, it doesn't really make sense to have a ice cave from Hoth connected to the trees of Endor. But hey, you can do it. <laughs> so kids can have fun with that kind of stuff. So I think it's a fun little set. If it's the full like $12, $13, nah, I feel like that's a little bit overpriced. But if you can find it at a Ross or a TJ Maxx or something for 6 bucks, absolutely. I think it's totally worth that price. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below. I'd like to hear from you. Please like and share the video. Please subscribe. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this look at the Echo Base Encounter from the Play School Star Wars Galactic Heroes line. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching.